The good news is inventory is up. The good news is inventory is up. Uh, the bad news is that supply in the market is still very tight. What do you make of the numbers today? Uh, well, home sales have been falling uh, modestly uh, for the uh, past three months, and that was principally due to the lack of inventory. Uh, if we had more inventory, I believe the sales will click higher. Uh, the job growth is creating a housing demand. So the fact that we are finally appears to be turning on inventory, slight increase, uh, but I anticipate this trend will continue. Uh, so as the year proceed, I think the home prices will moderate, uh, keep the affordability in check, uh, meaning that many people who are being priced out uh, may reconsider returning to the market. So we're talking basic supply and demand issues uh, right now, but, but inventory has been an issue. Uh, what, do you, what do you see as the biggest hurdle right now in, in trying to reduce that inventory gap? Um, so uh, clearly, uh, the demand has been outpacing supply. Uh, the builders are steadily building more. Uh, they are reaching a 10-year high in terms of housing starts. Now, even with that trend, it is still below the historical average. So the principal source of housing supply has to come from builders. Uh, the other supply potential is uh, some real estate investors, uh, particularly the institutional investors who gobbled up those properties uh, during the downturn at deeply discounted prices. Uh, if they recognize uh, that maybe the rents, which are still good, uh, but appears to be topping off. So if they uh, foresee this and begins to unload some of those real estate invested properties onto the market, uh, there will be additional supply.